Hi Ruth, what have we learned and worked on in today's session? So today I learned a lot of things. So firstly with the pull shot drill that we did, I learned not to throw my hands outside the off stump because it's very risky. And then we moved on to some power hitting where I learned that um, the power hitting stance is very, very useful and I can use it for all balls that they bowl in T20s, especially to hit lots of boundaries when the team needs it. Uh, and then okay in, so with the t20s what are those what are those deliveries what have you set your game plan up for so um the most common balls in t20s are bouncers and yorkers and wide yorkers and all of those can be manipulated to be hit for boundaries with the power hitting stance okay what was your power hitting stance what guard were you on and what were you doing so i batted on off stump but i was very deep in my crease and my stance was particularly wide and my knees were bent to allow me to flow through the ball and I was more chest on than normal. Okay, good. Well, and you, you, I mean, your hips were, your feet were open, but they, you, your hips weren't open, were no. they? Your hips were, you were able to use your hips to generate yeah, power. And, and what did you think of that session? Because actually, um, did you surprise yourself? I did. I, I never really realised that. Um, I suppose I could hit boundaries. I've always been more of a technical player, but I learned with the power hitting stance and um, that I can actually hit a bit further than I expected I think. yeah I think you timed the ball beautifully didn't you some of the shots of where you hit it you hit it with, with a great deal of power so it's a very important scenario to give you that option in a game situation if you need to 12 15 off the last over or we get down to a tight game to give you that option particularly for a youngster playing in adult cricket sometimes they set ring fields it's quite hard to pierce the field along the ground and you could eat up early overs if we're in a run chase so it's really good for you to have a game plan or something that you can move to that could accelerate the game and obviously you know um, give you a, an extra option an extra dimension of a batter yeah, um, and what else did we do um, so we also did some uh, a medium pace swing and seam bowling um, and I learned that my uh, problem is my head's not in the same line as my foot so I'm playing down the wrong line now I know that I need to work on that um, and we also did uh, coming down the wicket to spin bowling and I reinforced my knowledge that um, I need to get to the ball first before I uh, realign myself to the offside or leg side to manipulate the field, otherwise I'm putting myself in more danger than I need to. Yeah, but that's a strength of yours, isn't it? I think you use your feet quite well, don't you? Your judgement of yeah. length is, is, is quite good. You know when to go over the top, you know when to keep it along the ground, and then we've just worked on you manipulating those angles, and we're trying to get it wide of mid-off, wide of mid-on, and possibly getting twos instead of ones and, and creating that. But you worked really hard. And did you enjoy it? I did very much. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank you, Ro. Thank you, Ro.